You guys ready to roll? Yeah, Coach, um, decision to, to play Kyle and, and then not play some of the starters, and, uh, what, 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 what went behind that, and how did he do it as one more? Yeah, um, with some of the younger guys, even the, some of the younger guys that have played, I want to get them a few snaps, get into a routine, so get them ready to, for uh, week one. Kyle, we didn't want his first snap to be against Philly. We thought, you know, we, he's done a nice job all preseason. Um, he said we, we try to be smart with guys, create true competition, and evaluate those guys, and gave him a small little package, let him go. Of course, him and Hayden wanted to play the whole game, but we got to make those decisions. So, um, again, small sample size, but it was good to get him, get him a, a catch, and uh, we'll see where we go now going into the regular season. I thought Josh handled it pretty well. Um, you know, coming in on a short week, he's been in several systems. He's a very smart football player. Uh, you know, we, we had a, a package for him in the game plan. He handled it well. I thought, you know, he, he showed his uh, arm talent tonight. And again, uh, I thought he, he did a nice job overall. No. I thought the defense tonight, D led, um, you know, we didn't bail him out enough uh, situationally. They, they, they got the Cleveland made a couple plays, we got a couple fourth down stops. Those are huge plays in the game. Those are momentum changing plays. I mean, the only thing I was disappointed in was the turnover and, and giving the ball back and getting the penalty. We can't do that. You know, uh, that's a huge momentum play. That'll certainly be addressed. That's not what we want to see. That's not who we want to be. We don't want to sit there and, and um, you know, it's a great play by Kobe. We just got to be better operationally, and, and that's on me. I, I, I don't want to see that out there. Sure. I mean, there's some things that uh, we're going to want to watch the film uh, as Terry and I and the, and the whole football staff. We'll, we'll, we won't rush to judgment here, but I'll give Josh credit. You know, he, he came in here and, and handled it, but we'll, we'll take everything into in consideration. I'm, I'm not ready to make that statement right now. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it was all intentional. It was really to get those guys ready in there. And, um, again, if, if the drive had gone differently, they probably would have been there a couple of plays. We had certain package plays, and, and everything was, again, you got to figure out what the quarterbacks can do. And so we felt it was the best plan for Felipe to get him going. He's a different player than Josh, and that's not a knock on either one of them. And to me, that's the biggest part of my job is the problem solve. Now, the, the problem, obviously, we, we didn't score enough points. Um, but that was by design, and now if we had gotten into some drives, we got in some different situations, those guys were, were going to be up for the first two series. It just didn't happen to work out that way, the way the things played out situationally. Got back, had a second down play. Got, you know, so um, that was the plan with those guys. Sure. You know, we played, obviously, the, the last game in the preseason. So it's, we're not going to go out there and practice tomorrow. These guys need to recover. Um, and so we'll, we'll bring them in there on Tuesday. We can, we can adjust. You know, we have a little bit of a short roster, but that's fine because this is also a bye weekend too. So we'll practice three days, and then they're going to have off, which, which they deserve, and that's part of the, the, the deal with the bye weekend. So they'll be off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that, that, that's part of it. We're going to talk about that as a, as a staff. We have a plan. I'm just not going to share that here post game. And snap judgment, I feel feel good right now, Jeff. But uh, and we need to look at the tape and evaluate. And and we're all always looking at the, the roster. You never know who comes available. Um, you never know what opportunity. You know, people. There are going to be a million calls around the league tomorrow between general managers. So I, I'm not, you know, ready to make that statement. But um, I thought, for the most part, Felipe and Josh handled handled the plan. Again. Um, we got to score more points, stating the obvious, but the way they operated and the things we wanted to see out of them, they did a pretty decent job. And then did, did some of the injuries around the preseason give you pause? No, you know, look, uh, there's a lot of ways to look at it. Like that, We had a plan. We had a strategy. We started out in the preseason. And certainly 
I'd say the thing that changed our plan was maybe a little bit to get a more uh, a longer look at Josh Rosen. So obviously it was unfortunate what happened to AJ McCarron. So then you've got to be able to adapt. But our plan for the majority of these guys was not to play them a lot in the preseason. That was obvious. Uh, to, to, to get to full evaluation, a lot of we got a lot of young guys we wanted to look at that need these game reps that we may not be relying on early. But chances are, the odds are, we need them to play at some point for us this season, especially next year, and they need those game reps. Yeah, well, several things. Uh, I mean, going back to Matt, Jeff, that's not going to be necessarily the plan. You know, at some point, um, you know, if, if it depends on your quarterback situation. We felt we were inexperienced there. Sure, uh, we would play the quarterbacks, and that's what every every coach and GM and everybody's paid to do to make those decisions. So that's why we didn't play Matt going into year 14. We felt he had a good camp. Um, we felt really good about those joint practices. And we got three opportunities. Everybody's dealing with a, it's a new situation. You got a 17 game regular season. We got to get ready to play for. It's a marathon. We wanted to get as much valuable evaluation we could to develop guys. And again, the only way I know how to develop quarterbacks is to let them play. That's why we wanted to make sure they had a half. Felipe well, got a game and a half. And um, and then Josh and I got a half. So. Yeah, he did, he did a good job. And, and, and like most of the players, very few people, especially in this, in this business, are going to tell you, hey, I want less. And so that's my job to make the decisions. You know, the only thing, I'll put this on me, situationally, you get down in, in, the, uh, in the red zone, I wanted to see him throw it. Um, unfortunately, we took the sack there, and I, I wanted to see him throw it. And so I conceded that. And so, you know, if you're a regular season game, it's probably not some of the decisions I would have made. And that's the beauty of the preseason. Sometimes you feel like you are playing with house money. Um, certainly, he's got everybody's got entitled to their own opinion, but that's how we felt as a staff to get an evaluation of the quarterback. I was going to let him throw down there, so that's why I did that. Yeah, um, that was a point of emphasis. We're, you know, that's the thing I, I won't do here. Uh, we're not going to complain about the rules. You know, this game's constantly evolving as it's done. They've done a nice job. Some of the things that needed to be cleaned up, and that's what you know the rules are. And we want to coach the rules. We're not going to complain about them. And, and that was, a, you know, I wasn't very happy week one. I wanted to clean up some of the the holds. We felt, you know, luckily and it's not perfect, but but please at least we cut down the penalties. And also the run defense held around to seventy one yards. What do you think helped Falcons defense just to keep the ground game in check? Well, they did a nice job, uh, you know, setting a wall out there. Uh, it's a really good running football team. Uh, Cleveland's sim built pretty similar to us stylistically, and uh, Kevin and his staff and that whole operation, Andrew Barry, they did a nice job last year, and that's a to me that's a good football team. And uh, we knew they were going to come in there and at least try to run the football for the most part, and I thought our guys stepped up. Well, I, look, I, I don't have the ego to say it's my offense. This is our offense. This is the Atlanta Falcons offense. We, we got a really good staff. I know a lot of people want to jump in front of a parade, but we got a really good staff and, and, and in players. It's our offense. And, and then my job as, as a coach is to make sure that it's not going to be one size fits all. And Felipe's at a completely different point in his career than Matt Ryan, than A.J. McCarron, than Josh Rosen. So part of it to me developing him is to make sure we, we push him out of his comfort zone, certainly to see what everything he can do, and uh, but pleased with the progress we made. They're all different players. Thank you.